you would have never physically known, but it did come out, I think, in an interview that she panicked um, because COVID started, Olympics were not canceled, and there were no pools available. So she had to come up with a game plan to continue training until she knew differently. And we were very lucky with a family friend had a pool in their home and with an outdoor entrance, they were willing to let Phoebe train there. And it really, it's a godsend. She missed one day of training. I mean, there were athletes all over the country who were without pools. There were Olympic athletes without pools, pro swimmers without pools. So she was incredibly, we were very blessed and very lucky. Normally she swims at like 4.30 in the morning to get to school, but since we were in someone's home, she wasn't going there at 4.30 in the morning. So some mornings it was at nine, some at eight, sometimes at 10, and um, Stone Ridge was incredibly accommodating with her practice schedule so that she could continue to practice. So it, it, we were you know, blessed on all, all sides. Some of the swimmers who graduated in 2020 did decide to stay home and continue training for the Olympics or for trials. Um, she was ready to go to college. She was ready to move on to the next phase. Um, she went to, she goes to University of Wisconsin. Um, so she uh, went up there. They weren't sure if they were gonna have a season, but they were able, they were training at an outside pool until they finally got permission to train inside. Um, she's, uh, her head coach up there is Yuri um, Sugiyama, who um, was Katie's coach when Katie got her first gold medal. Um, in London um, and he used to coach for NCAP which is where Katie and Phoebe you know swim for so um, she's very lucky from up county to down county to stay in the know like share and subscribe to our channel